This is my Mereda Mexico Best Retired Cheap in Paradise Guide. I've been traveling the world since 2007, 65 countries so far. Uh, based upon your requests, I'm recording this video again, uh, speaking much louder. Uh, I'm cataloging the best retired cheap in paradise locations in the world. I just toured 18 potential places to retire early in Mexico. Uh, that was actually in 2018. I visited them in this order from start to finish. Mexico City, San Miguel, Guanajuato, Guadalajara, Chapala, Ajajic, uh, Puerto Vallarta, Morella, Pazicuero, Querétaro, Cornavaca, Puebla, Oaxaca, San Cristobal, Campeche, and Mereda. My initial thoughts on the top four places to retire cheap in Mexico, considering only Mexico uh, at the time were Mereda, Oaxaca, Querétaro, and Guanajuato. That was just my initial findings. Uh, later, I dropped Mereda from the top five because of just too hot in the summer months. Click the link in the notes below this YouTube video to get my updated best places to retire in Mexico for cultural explorers, action adventurers, and rural self-reliance. I can continue to show you pictures of Mereda while I explain why Mereda is one of the most amazing places to live in Mexico. If you'd like to learn how to live internationally, possibly with less money than you spend at home, please grab a free copy of my ebook, How to Fire Your Boss and Travel the World. Uh, Mexico Mereda facts. Here are some interesting facts about Mereda. I'm going, I'm here now. I was here at the time I recorded this. It's a super fun and beautiful. Click on the Google map here on the webpage to zoom in to Mereda. Mereda is the largest city in the capital of the Yucatan state of Mexico. Just over 1 million people were counted in the metropolitan area in, in the 2015 census. Um, 60% of the people are indigenous uh, of Mayan descent. Mereda is 36 kilometers from the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. There were three conquistadors named Francisco de Montejo in Mexico. The eldest was called Lieutenant, his son El Mozo, and the nephew El Sobrino. Although colonial Mereda was built over the existing Mayan city of Thao, the history books say Mereda was founded by the Francisco de Montejo, Montejo El Mozo, the son. The truth is, Thao had been one of the centers of Mayan culture. Thao might be the oldest continually occupied city in the Americas. The Spanish destroyed Thao to build the churches and colonial mansions that you now see in Mereda Central. Mereda was a walled city intended to protect the peninsula and Creo from the indigenous population. A peninsula is a Spanish-born person living in the Americas. A Creo is a person born in America with pure or nearly pure Spanish blood. So Mereda was originally built to protect the violent invaders from the retaliatory indigenous population. Luckily, the Spanish invaders were unable to completely eradicate the Mayan culture in this region. Uh, the Mayan culture can be seen in daily life here in speech, dress, and expression, both oral and written. In the 19th and 20th century, Mereda became one of the wealthiest cities in the Americas because of its Hennequin plantations. Hennequin is a sort of cactus that can be used to create strong fibers for rope and other commercial uses. The wealth created by this industry can be seen today in the mansions along Paseo de Montejo. Um, even the Mereda Historical Center is undergoing a silent re renaissance of sorts as people, mostly Americans and other expats, move into the dilapidated colonial mansions and restore them to their former glory. Mereda is in the Chiclub Crater, a large asteroid about 12 kilometers or seven miles across uh, hit the Earth about 66 million years ago. It created a crater that is almost 150 kilometers or 93 miles wide and 20 kilometers or 12 miles deep. The force was the equivalent of several million nuclear weapons and it caused an impact winter that stopped photosynthesis on Earth and caused mass extinction. 75% of all species on Earth vanished from that impact. Okay, Mereda free Old Town walking tour. Uh, if you come 
to the link below this YouTube video, you'll find on the webpage everything I'm talking about, plus a number of other videos you can watch. There's a Mareda free Old Town walking tour and video and map. Watch the video if it looks fun. Take my free walking tour. Uh, I won't say too much more about it. Uh, if you're interested, just click uh, below. Uh, if it were not for the hot summers, this would be not my favorite place to live. Um, uh, but more on that if you want to read the best places. Uh, also a link for that. Uh, there's also some, some guided tours here. Uh, if you're not as ambitious as me in research and you want to just go on guided tours, um, my five recommendations are here for that. And then um, there's also a Pink Lake video tour. While you're in Mereda, uh, it's, uh, there's a, a city nearby. Uh, you can go see the Pink Lake. It's you know, very popular, especially for Instagrammers. There's a video of that and directions of how to get to that nearby city and what it costs to take that tour. Um, and then from Mereda, there's my self-guided cheap bastard tours. Um, if you're an adventurous sore, you should try one of my self-guided cheap bastard tours. Um, uh, the cenote tour. There's a video here. Watch it if it if you're not if it blows your mind like it did mine. Uh, you can go on this tour. It's thirteen dollars, uh, and that's uh, just for the the transportation and entry into the cenotes. Uh, Mereda best re restaurants, street food, and surprise experiences. There's a video here for that. Uh, all of our favorite restaurants, uh, places to shop if you like to cook, um, and all that's on the video. Uh, we ate in quite a few places. These are our favorites. Don't eat bad food. Come watch the video and eat in these places. Um, uh, best Mereda nightlife bar hopping tour. There's a video of that also. Uh, click the video, watch it if it looks fun, take it. Um, it's, the city center is beautiful and safe both in the day and night. Um, and um, this area that we're recommending for a newbie in town uh, is, is quite safe, it's well lit, and we recommend you taking the night tour. Uh, just watch the video, if it looks fun, click the map, there's an interactive Google map for it. Uh, there's also um, the best, my, our picks for the best and cheap hotels. As you know, I'm very cheap. I don't like to spend a lot of money uh, and I travel all year. So I'm, it's, I'm not the same as somebody who takes two weeks off. Uh, I go home two weeks of the year and the rest of the year I'm traveling. And so I can't afford typical uh, prices. And so if you're cheap like me, you'll definitely want to look into my tours and all of my ideas. Uh, then there's um, Mereda flights, buses and trains all on the webpage below this YouTube video. We took the auto bus from Campeche to Mereda, Mexico. Um, uh, you can right click on the web page to get a Chrome uh, translation into English. Took three hours, 140 pesos per person. Um, and that's, we came to uh, uh, Mereda from Campeche. Um, there's a couple of other bus tour companies, links provided. If you're, if you're traveling through Mexico like we did uh, for a year, um, I guess someone knows it was less than a year, maybe eight months. Uh, then you know, on the ground is cheaper and uh, you can't and you don't need to fly anywhere Plus you won't see the country if you're flying everywhere Then there's the Mereda International Airport that you can fly into and take an uber from the airport to your home it Takes about 20 minutes and costs 70 pesos or four dollars. There's links for that uh, Flights international or domestic as I say I always use Skyscanner uh, for domestic and international flights um, It works best if you give it a range of dates so it can find the lowest airfares in any given month. If you have the uh, freedom like we do to take the lowest airfare, then in, a, in a, any time during a one month period, you could literally save 30, 40, even 50% on flights. Um, there's still a train uh, through Copper Mountain, but it does not go to Mereda. So uh, with respect to trains, Mereda, that doesn't really make sense. Okay, getting down to why you came to this video, Mereda as a retired cheap place. Let me talk about the livability factors of Mereda. Um, these are the factors that I use to decide if I could, you know, if I want to live somewhere. I call them my livability factors. Livability uh, factors, um, food choices, walkability, internet reliability, social considerations, cost of living, things to do, real estate prices, weather, and expat opportunities. Mereda desirability score. Um, Mereda has my highest desirability score. Mereda is presently in first place at the time that I visited there. Uh, 
for a retired chief in Mexico. Um, and my other top five were Oaxaca, Querétaro, and Guanajuato. Um, if you like to learn, uh, you know, all the stops in Mexico, uh, subscribe to Vagabond Buddha, come to, come to the webpage um, and see all the Mexico uh, retired chief reports. Um, walkability. Um, hi, Merida is a totally walkable place. It doesn't have as many pure walking streets as other places, but it's still compact enough to live without a car. And on the on the, I think Thursday through Sunday, they block a lot of the streets around the square, and it's only people. It's just quite charming um, a way to live. Um, internet reliability. The Wi-Fi in our Airbnb was one or 17.1 megabits per second down and 2.1 up. Um, that is the wireless connectivity uh, within our uh, room at the Airbnb we stayed at. Food. Uh, hi. The food diversity is great because there's a strong foreign currency here chasing a diverse food palette so there's not just Mexican food but there's a huge um, international community here that's serving different kinds of food um, I would say for weather uh, uh, this is probably low May is the warmest month with an average high of 97 Fahrenheit 36 Celsius and it's only cools down at night to 71 Fahrenheit which is 22 Celsius this means your house is too warm to sleep without AC. January is the coldest month with an average low of 63 Fahrenheit, uh, which is 17 Celsius at night. But it warms quickly in the day to 87 or 31 Celsius, uh, 87 Fahrenheit or 31 Celsius. So, uh, so no heat uh, is needed uh, in the winter. Uh, the, the rainy season is June through October when it rains about five to seven inches per month or 140 to 180 millimeters. Because the average high for the day is 91 Fahrenheit or 33 Celsius or above for eight months of the year, I may be labeling Merida as merely um, a low weather-wise, but this could be labeled um, medium if heat isn't trouble for you. Um, things to do, um, hi, it's 40 kilometers from the beach, there are cenotes everywhere, and you're just a few hours from Cancun. Playa del Carmen and Tulum. There's classical music, jazz, rock, hip hop, theater, movies, malls, museums, diversity in restaurants, and a decent nightlife with a diverse set of live music. There are world class archaeological sites within an hour or two, and we have tours on that. Um, you can watch the videos and take those if you want. Uh, social if you're here, uh, you can speak directly to landlords, um, and uh, I guess to me, you should be able to get a decent apartment. For somewhere between about 425 and 625 uh, for a one bedroom apartment in the Old Town area of Mereda. There's a cost of living table um, on the webpage. You can come look at it. And it ranges for a, uh, from a backpacker type all the way up to someone like me who likes to rent a furnished one bedroom. Um, the, uh, you're gonna range, run about 500 to like 1100 per month uh, to be in Mereda, Mexico in terms of cost of living. Uh, the table is just my notes uh, from my time of being here they're, they're for one person and does not include alcohol, tours, or extras. I do not guarantee these prices for uh, everyone. These are just my notes from when I was here. Your lifestyle is going to determine how much money you spend. You could easily spend 10 times as much or less than this depending on your lifestyle. So you really need to do a site visit to firm up your numbers. Um, for information about how the cost of living table works, there's a link below it. Click that to read how to decipher what it means. Um, and then you can also go to numbio.com for individual things. And like if you're curious about what something that you buy every month costs, um, you can go to Numbio and it'll Numbio for Mereda and find out what that costs and add that to your monthly costs. Uh, please subscribe here on uh, or on our YouTube channel on, or on Vagabond Boot if you'd like to receive the cost of living estimates for our next stop in Mexico or for other countries in the world. Uh, there's uh, already over 50 retired chief reports on VagabondBuddha.com. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Thank you for stopping by. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, and if you're enjoying this video, could you please subscribe, 
like it, comment, any of those things would help us uh, in the search rankings and improve our business so I can get enough money together to try, buy her a new pair of shoes. She has holes in the bottom of her shoes. No, I don't. Please help us.